Hi everyone and welcome to another segment of bringing the zoo to you here at Brookfield Zoo. My name is Heather and I'm one of the animal care specialists here at Penniped Point. We take care of the California sea lions and the gray seals and today we are bringing a special edition about Peanut and Celia, our two gray seal pups born in January of 2019. So Peanut was born January 9th, 2019, and Celia was born the very next day on January 10th. So this year they will be turning one year old. So that's very exciting for us here at Penniped Point to have watched them grow up over the last year. So watching them learn and grow over the past year has been really exciting. They're both learning a lot of new things, but one of the big things in the first year of their life was just getting a really strong relationship of trust and a strong bond with each of the 10 members of the animal care staff here at Penniped Point. So we all got to know um, some of the things that they find reinforcing, some of their favorite enrichment, and started building a really strong relationship of trust with these two girls. So some of the most important things that they're learning do take a lot of trust. It's those healthcare or husbandry behaviors. So both Pina and Celia are learning things that will help us to take the best possible care of them. One of the things they've already mastered is following the care staff to different parts of the habitat, including a scale. So we do ask them to weigh themselves voluntarily by stepping on the scale at least once a week so that we can get an accurate weight and make sure that they're growing and healthy. When they were born, they both were around 30 to 35 pounds. Um, Celia was a little bit larger than Peanut at birth. And we just got an accurate weight this week and they are both over 120 pounds at this point. So they've done a lot of growing this past year. Some other things that they're learning are to let us touch different parts of their body and really, again, focusing on that trust and that bond to allow us to do that. We just make healthcare like a fun game. So by teaching them that it's okay for us to examine different parts of their body, then that gets them more comfortable for when the veterinarians come to give them a checkup and make sure that they are nice and healthy. So one of the things that Celia is learning is a flipper present. Actually, Peanut is learning that as well, where we ask for their flipper and they just rest it in our hands and we can look, look it over, look at their nails and make sure that everything's healthy. And again, just um, getting comfortable with tactile reinforcement or letting us touch different parts of their body so that they can get a medical exam. So they're both learning multiple new things and they're very quick learners. Good morning. So you'll see when we are ready to begin the care session, our care staff will present different shapes for Peanut and Celia. So Celia's is a circle and Peanuts Target. is a star. So these are kind of like their name tags. All of our animal care specialists work with different animals in any given day. So we do have a relationship with each of the animals that calls Penniped Point their home. So the shape just helps them to know which animal care specialist they will be with in that particular care session. So it's been really rewarding watching these girls grow over the last year. Um, when they were born, again, they were only um, about 32 and 36 pounds. 32 for Peanut and 36 for Celia. Good. And now they've had um, a year to grow and they're both over 120 pounds. And they're learning many new things. So if you see Lauren and Celia, they are working on a spin, which is a fun um, behavior for Celia to learn. Good. Nice job. So you can see she's following that target pole which is just like um, asking her to target onto our hand, but it helps us to reach places that our hands can't necessarily reach. So you see her, you see Lauren spinning the target pole and Celia following that in that circular motion. Now every behavior that the animals learn is like a game or a mental puzzle to exercise their brains and make sure that they are mentally active. Um, so even those little fun behaviors like a spin are important for their overall welfare. And you might have noticed that Lauren is feeding Celia restaurant quality seafood, including capelin and herring, but she also seems to enjoy some sugarless, flavorless gelatin as well. And this is a great way to make sure that they are hydrated without adding a lot of extra calories um, to their food for the day. So you can see Celia seems to really enjoy that gelatin. So here are Peanut and Marim. 
And Marim is teaching Peanut to present her flippers. Good job! So this is really important to be able to examine those cute little front flippers and check on their overall health, look at their nails. Their flippers are important for them moving around, so we want to make sure that they're nice and healthy. And you can see that Marim and Peanut have bonded so much over the last year that Marim is able to touch Peanut on her back and her neck. Good job! Again, this is really important for getting them comfortable for things Some like squeeze. medical exams. <laughs> so that way when the veterinarians do come to look at them, <laughs> squid is a you new a Good new girl. food item for Peanut. Good, there you she go. She really slurped up those tentacles. Good job, Peanut. <laughs> oh, you're cute. So again, it's really important to build these bonds with these animals and that's what we've been working on a lot in the past year. Um, getting them comfortable with us, learning what they find reinforcing and things that they like and enjoy, and teaching them new things, especially those medical behaviors Good. that are so important. As we said, Peanut and Celia are now over 120 pounds, so it's important that they cooperate in their own health care and they are active participants so that they can actually help us to take the best possible care of them. <laughs> I'll take this. Now, sometimes they're so excited about the new things that they're learning that they offer it even without being asked. So you can see that Peanut was so excited about that flipper present that she wanted to show Marim what she had learned. But we hope you enjoyed learning about Peanut and Celia and how they've grown and learned over the past year. Thank you so much for celebrating their birthday with us virtually, and we hope to be able to welcome you back in person soon at Brookfield Zoo. Thanks for tuning in to this segment of Bringing the Zoo to You.